Today I'm going to be cooking up this rack of ribs. So first what I'm going to do is marinate them in these pineapple chunks and juice. I got the ribs in this deep pan and I'm just going to pour the pineapple chunks and juice on top. All right, I gave it a little flip to make sure it's all coated. Actually, I'm going to start seasoning it now. That was a lot less juice than I expected it was going to be, and I thought I was going to have to drain it, but I'm not going to have to, so I'm just going to start seasoning it. First, I'm going to use this tiny bit of garlic powder I have left. I have more. Don't worry. Using black pepper. I went outside to get some herbs, and I noticed I had a heck of a lot of tomatoes to harvest as well, so... Those are them I'm going to quickly bring out inside because it's about to storm. I was smart and went and got a bin this time to carry them all in. So that looks like a lot of herbs. It's rosemary and thyme, but I'm going to spread it over both sides of the ribs. I also added some of this seasoning blend. Some Famous Dave's Rib Rub. This is really good. And a lot of onion powder. Now I'm going to do the same on the other side. I did the other side with the same seasonings. I also salted both sides. I don't know if I mentioned that, but that's a given. Now I'm going to cover this with foil and bake it in the oven. Okay, I haven't looked at it yet. Let's see how it is. Okay, so this is how they look after an hour and a half at 325 in the oven. I'm going to use the meat thermometer to make sure they're cooked. And if they are, I'm going to put them underneath the broiler. Actually... Even if they're not cooked, it'll be okay under the broiler um, because that would finish it up. And then make it browned. All right, I browned them underneath the broiler and they look so good. They smell amazing. They cut really easily, so I know they're going to be fall off the bone. This is how the pineapple looks. I'm going to scrape the fat away and then try it as well because I bet you it tastes really great roasted underneath that fork. I am excited for this one. Hello everyone! I am excited for these ribs. I thought I was going to make them yesterday, missed my chance. I made them tonight and I am so happy. Here is that end piece, that thick end piece. I'm going to start with that. It's a little hot. Mmm. Did you see how that fell right off the bone? Mm-hmm. Oh, that rosemary is really good. Mmm. I'm glad I added rosemary. Wow. Mmm. Beautifully seasoned. Mm-hmm. I wanted to taste one without the sauce to see how the seasoning is, but now I'm going to add this Ray's Sweet and Smoky Sauce. Put that on the side right there for dipping. I'm not going to pour it all over the ribs. Okay, let's see how it is all together. Oh, that is perfect. That is perfect. Mmm. Wow. At first I was going to cook them on 350. But then I was like, no, let's bring it down to 325. Do it low and slow. And look at that. That was the right choice. Wow. That is a clean bone. I'm so glad they came out this soft. Let me try a piece of pineapple here. I'm excited. Oh, that is really good. That is really good. I think my favorite seasoning or herb on here is the rosemary. You could taste it on the meat. You could taste it on the pineapple. All right, here's this guy. Wow. I am impressed with myself, <laughs> but wow, that was, I'm so glad I cooked them on a lower temperature. So 
So how are you guys doing? How do you guys usually make your ribs? Wow. I keep saying wow. I gotta give myself a pat on the back for this one. I think these are the best ribs I ever made. Look at that. Right off the bone. I gotta say, the thyme too. Thyme and rosemary were the two fresh herbs that I used and they are the most flavorful in this meat. So I would say using fresh herbs definitely makes a difference. You don't taste the pineapple all that much, but the little chunks of pineapple are really good. They taste like pork. The whole house smells like pork right now and that is a very good thing. Yeah, the first thing I smelled when cooking these was the pineapple, and then the herbs, and then I smelled the pork. Look at that. Perfect. When I made ribs on the grill, they did not come out this soft. And I think that's definitely because I put foil on top. That helped keep it moist. And, you know, there was the liquid at the bottom. Definitely let me know. How do you season your ribs? And do you cook them in the oven or on the grill? It's moist, too. It's great. It is great. I definitely want to improve on my grill game as far as ribs go. Because these came out better. I bet you there's a good way to make them on the grill, too. Well, of course, there's a good way, but I mean a technique that I haven't heard of yet. Let's get a little more sauce on there. I am a happy camper. 100%. All right, I'm all finished tonight. I'm sure these are gonna be really good tomorrow too. I really just complimented myself throughout this entire video, didn't I? I was just really happy how they came out because like I said, they're the best ribs I ever made. The other ribs I've made were on the grill. This is the first time I tried baking them slow and it was really good. There I go with more compliments. You deserve compliments. You're beautiful, you're great, you're a great human being. I love you. I shouldn't assume you're a human being either. Whatever species you are, you are amazing. Because look, I'm a walrus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll stop now. I'll stop now. I'm telling you guys, weird things happen when there's a plate of ribs in front of me. Your homework assignment is in three parts. One, tell me how you liked the video. Two, tell me your rib recipe. And three, have a fabulous day. Okay, bye bye